before I debut this, I do this on my Saturday show. One of our listeners on the Saturday show picked the name of this. I did not think about how close it was to Blazing Five. Colin does Blazing Five on Fridays. So this isn't Blazing Five. This is my favorite five. <laughs> so trust me, I know how close it is. That was not intentional. Um, all right, well, let's start with the Browns and the Packers. The Cleveland Browns are traveling to Green Bay to play the Packers, who are great at home. They are 6-0, and and I think they will be 7-0 and after this weekend. The Packers are favored by 7.5, which feels about right. I do think that they will cover. The Browns are coming off of a really bad COVID week. They're getting a lot of people back. They have eight starters on the COVID list, though. Um the ones that could return is Baker Mayfield, Case Keenum, uh, Kareem Hunt, Jarvis Landry, Jedrick Wills, Javion Clowney, and Greg Newsom. The Browns have been held to under 20 points in four of their last five games. This has been a year where Baker has really struggled, and Aaron Rodgers has done the opposite of that. He is leading the MVP race. They are the best team in the NFC and have the best record in the NFL. They have the fewest giveaways, the Packers 10, and the second best turnover differential plus 12 this season and have scored 30 straight points in four straight games, which is the longest active streak in the NFL. Otherwise known as a major mismatch. I do think that Cleveland will be very desperate in this game, which they should be. Uh, the way that the AFC North is playing out. But I think the Packers win this convincingly. However, I am still interested to see what Baker and the Cleveland Browns do. The Colts at the Cardinals. Now, the Colts are 8-3 and three over their last 11 games, and they lead the NFL with a plus-14 turnover differential. They have the number one scoring offense since week four, 31.1 points per game. Jonathan Taylor is the story of this team. He's been incredible. He's getting a lot of talk for MVP, as he should. He is remarkable, leads the NFL in carries, rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, scrimmage yards, and scrimmage touchdowns. Very impressive. Wow, the Cardinals, who were tearing the league up, are 3-4 and four in their last seven games after starting 7-0. and oh. Kyler Murray has struggled. Three touchdowns, five interceptions in the last four games since returning from his injury. So maybe he's not 100%, but they need this win desperately. The Colts run the ball really well, obviously, with Jonathan Taylor and have a lot of great pieces and are playing really well. Very complete football. So this is a great matchup I'm looking forward to this weekend. Bills at Patriots. We just talked about Mac Jones with Nick Wright. The Patriots beat the Bills 14-10 on the road. That was a notorious game where Mac McCorkle Jones had three passing attempts. I don't think that the Bills are going to prepare for a game like that again. But Bill Belichick, he owns the Bills. We know Aaron Rodgers. He owns the Bears. Well, Bill Belichick owns the Bills. 36-8 and eight career record against the Bills. That's the most wins against any opponent. And the Patriots have the number two scoring offense since week seven. However, however, I do think this will be a much more competitive game. I think it will look much differently than the one that they played earlier in the season. Mac Jones leads all the rookies in wins and completion percentage. And I do think that the Bills need this game more than the Patriots. So I think they will bring all their best stuff. It will be very close. The spread is Patriots minus two. I think I'm going to go with the Patriots there, but I think this is going to be a great matchup. Ravens at Bengals. So the AFC North is completely wide open. It's anyone's division. Essentially, every game from this point out for all of these teams is a playoff game. The Bengals are favored by three, and the winner of this game will be first in the AFC North. But the Ravens are coming off of three straight losses, and two of them have come off of failed two-point conversions. Everybody loves those. I, I, like, I like a little aggressive. Okay, no one's ever described me as being uh, not aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe the two-point thing is not your thing. Um, the Bengals beat the Ravens 41-17 on the road in Week 7, and Joe Burrow leads the NFL with 15 touchdown passes of 20 or more yards. I think this is the Bengals' game. Also, we don't know what the situation is with Lamar Jackson as well. So if you're paying close attention to this game, you're going to need to watch that throughout the weekend. And oh, you got to sneak it in. i got to sneak it in. I know everybody's not really hyped about this, but I'm very excited for Dolphins and Saints. <laughs> <laughs> the Dolphins are on a six-game winning streak. They okay, yeah. uh, they're, they're looking to become the first team in NFL history to win seven-plus consecutive games, immediately following a losing streak of seven games. They have the number three scoring defense and number two total defense during their streak. Tua, playing really well, leads the NFL with 69.9 completion percentage. Tua and Mahomes are the only two quarterbacks to win each of their last five games. That's good company. Now, I know the Saints are really banged up. They have a lot of COVID issues, and their top two quarterbacks are out. 
But that's actually why I'm interested in this, because Ian Book is probably going to start. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get to see Ian Book this weekend against the Dolphins. And the Saints are coming off of a shutout of the Bucks. Not the prettiest game. <laughs> it's a little yeah. bit of a rough watch. Yeah. But the Saints have Brady's number, so their defense is still incredibly competitive. And uh, I'm looking forward to this Monday night game. So that's my favorite five. Not the blazing five. My favorite five. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.